Hi guys, my name is Jin Young Joan, and thank you for tuning in to my table tennis tutorial channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do the forehand loop drive. I'm going to show you how to position your body, how to move it, when to contact the ball, the angle that your bat needs to be at, and a little bit more. So if you've been looking to maximize your forehand loop drive, stay tuned. So guys, I know I'm really low right now, but this is very, very important. There's nothing more important in your forehand loop drive than the way that we position our feet and the way that we move our legs. So first and foremost, you want to have your legs a little bit wider than shoulder width, okay? I know this feels unnatural, but if you're not used to it, you should start getting used to it now. Second, if you're right-handed, put your right foot slightly behind your left, and it should be that the side of your big toe should line up with your left heel. Lastly, the way that we move these hips, okay? So this has always been confusing for me, but consider your upper body an extension of this leg right here that's in the front. And when you move your legs for the back swing, collapse it. So collapse, collapse. It's almost like you're saying, hey, look right there, look right there. Okay, so that's your back swing. And just let your arm freely fall back with your body. Great, so now we have our feet positioned properly. Shoulder width, right foot slightly behind the left. We've got our hip movement. It's that collapsing, this upper body and this leg right here kind of collapses together. Something I want you guys to think about is on the back swing, as you start to go backwards, keep your arm close to your body as it goes back. So barely making it by your leg here. Your paddle barely grazes by, okay? Barely grazes by. And then on the forward swing, you're gonna notice that the arm comes out. This elbow is about, I'd say, a hand's length away from your body as you go forward. The trajectory of your back should start around your knee, a little bit behind it, and end right at your right eyebrow. As you go through your swing, you want to make sure that you keep your arm and your shoulder loose. The only time that you tense any muscle is your hand, right before the moment of impact with the ball. So a lot of people have trouble with timing. When do you make contact with the ball to get the strongest loop? So let's talk about this concept real quick. As the ball comes back from your opponent, lands on your side of the table, it's going to have a couple of phases. So phase one on the rise, phase two near the rise, phase three, the top of the bounce, phase four, right after the top of the bounce, and phase five, as the ball is at its lowest point on its way back down. So you should contact the ball with your forehand loop drive, not on phase one, not on phase two, but you can capture it on phase three, which is at the top of the bounce, which is going to give you the hardest contact with the ball. This will be the fastest loop drive possible. If you, cap if you capture the ball or hit the ball after phase three, and you can get it on phase four, right after the top of the bounce, as it starts to come back down a little bit, you're gonna get a very arky and spinny loop. Not quite as fast, but very arky and spinny. So you'll find that a lot of the European style players will do their forehand loop drive, not on phase one, two, but they'll do it on three. A lot of the Chinese and Asian, East Asian style players will do it on phase four. So after the top of the bounce, it lowers just a little bit and they'll contact it there. And you'll see that they have very arky loops.
All right, guys, that wraps it up for our tutorial on the forehand loop drive. I hope that this video was extremely helpful to you, and I hope that you guys continue to progress in your game of table tennis. Keep on revisiting the video if you forget what you learned here today. And if you did like what you saw in the video, you found it helpful, please like the video, please comment below, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.